let me tell you the story of how I got this wallpaper. You see, back in May of 2020, I downloaded this image, I made it my wallpaper across all of my devices, and I posted it on Instagram. It went crazy, and it became the number one question that people ask me to this day. I'm going to show you today where I download all of my desktop wallpapers and what I do to kind of format them to fit all of my devices. It's really simple, super easy, and of course, you can download this wallpaper today so you can use it for all of your devices. So I download all of my wallpapers on a website called Unsplash. This is a community-based platform where artists and photographers can post their photos, their art, and you can use these images royalty-free. Now the artist in exchange gets the exposure of the amount of traffic that comes to this website and there's also now a paid platform version so they can post premium content where they're actually getting a little bit of kickback for certain images. However, there are still a ton of free photos that you can download. So let's open up Unsplash right here and I will show you what I use. So obviously this wallpaper is like an acrylic based art and so I like to type um, acrylic fluid art. Here it is right here. Just by doing that, you can see all of these insane wallpapers, all of these from which the same artist that created this wallpaper, Powell, he has all of his work on here. So I'm gonna give Powell a huge shout out in this video because he's the reason that this art exists and by me using his art, that has really helped me grow in my YouTube channel, my Instagram account. So I really appreciate all of the stuff that he does and him being so generous to upload this stuff for us to use for free. So be sure that you give him a shout out if you're using his stuff or any artist for that matter, if you're using their content to uh, use as your desktop wallpaper. It really does go a long way. All right, so let's check out this. This one's pretty cool here. So this is another one from Powell. And what you can do on Unsplash after you create your account, you find an image that you want to download, click on the drop down menu and download the original size. Now real quick, let me just run you through the benefits of Unsplash. Now, this is not sponsored whatsoever. I just love downloading wallpapers from this website because it's incredibly easy. But when you download this, you get a license that gives you the ability to use them for free. You can use them for commercial and non-commercial purposes. So I could literally use this as like marketing material for whatever I wanted. And you don't need permission to use this. However, it is appreciated to at least give them a tag or a quick shout out if you're going to be using this stuff and especially if you're promoting it online. So let's go back to that download. I have this downloaded here. Now what I did with this wallpaper um, that you all see here is it actually originally was blue and red. So the gray areas were actually blue, but in all of my photos on Instagram and a lot of my videos, I desaturate the blues anyways. I just think it looks a little nicer for the aesthetic that I'm trying to achieve. So what I did is I took this into Lightroom and you don't need Lightroom technically. You can really do this in any other app or you can bring it into your phone and use Lightroom Mobile. But for this case, I'm gonna do Lightroom Classic and I wanna get rid of the blues here. See how it looks. So I just scroll down to my HSL, find the blues and we're going to desaturate those. I think, I think for this one, the blues really stand out a little more. So I'm actually gonna keep the blues as is for this. Now you don't have to do what I'm doing here. If you think the image just looks great whenever you download it, then that's great. You don't have to do anything to it. But now we need to make it fit your desktop, whatever you're using it for. This is great for vertical. Now I'm gonna put this in my wallpapers drop box which I will give you a link to in the description if you wanna download it for yourself. Now I'm going to put this one in there and this will be, let's name it vertical. So this will be for iPhones and tablets and stuff like that. You should be able to just make that your wallpaper and be good to go. But I also need a horizontal version to use on my monitors. So let's copy this. Open it up here and we're going to do a little editing. Let's just rotate it to the side like that. And we're going to save desk top. Put that in there. Now we've got two versions here. We've got our desktop. We've got our vertical and you can just use this. You can access your Dropbox on your phone if you have it set up or you can access it on your computer. Whether you're using Mac or PC, doesn't matter. And you can quickly access that wallpaper. We've got 4,500 by 3,000. Now I'm going to test this out. Let's see how this looks. Right click, set wallpaper, boom. 
looks nice and sharp and it's using the full quality image so by downloading the full file size and we didn't adjust it to actually fit the screen because we didn't really need to it's just filling in the gaps of where it needs to now you have images across all of your devices just make sure that you have your dropbox set up on each of those devices or you can airdrop it it doesn't really matter but Dropboxing it is just the easiest way to always have it available, especially if you want to share that wallpaper with someone, the same way that I share these wallpapers with you. People have asked me, how do I fit these to my multiple monitors? So I have a three monitor setup right now in which I have a modified version that has both images kind of blended together. And then I have a left and a right version of the image. These are all in the Dropbox that I'm going to give you so you can download it yourself. But let me show you real quick what I did to make all of these streamlined for that. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna download another image again from Powell just because I love his work. Okay, so we've got this new image which looks really cool. It's kind of like a blurred version of the wallpaper that I use. Now, let's say you have a dual monitor setup and you need, you want it to, to match, so you want the left screen to have the red on the left side. You want the right screen to have the red on the right side. So they kind of match together. So you're gonna to need to create two versions, which is very simple. Okay, so we open up the image. You literally just double click it. If you're on PC, um, you should have comparable things to do. Or if you have Photoshop, just open it up in Photoshop. And what you wanna do is flip horizontal. So that's just gonna flip it around. It's gonna mirror it. We're gonna save this. Okay, so now it's on the right. Let's save this red, right. Put that in our Dropbox folder. Okay, so now we've got the right and then let's just go back to the original. Rename this red left in our new Dropbox folder. So now we have red left, red right. So now what you wanna do is you want to open these up on each monitor. So it doesn't matter which variation you wanna do, that's totally up to you. For me, I'm going to put the red left on the right monitor. So I'm going to go to red left, right click, set desktop picture, and there we go. Now I'm going to drag the finder over to the left monitor. It has to be on whichever monitor you're trying to change. Go to red right, right click that, set desktop photo, and there we go. Easy as that. And now you have a seamless wallpaper that's set up in a way that actually matches. And there you go. I hope that this was somewhat useful. I know it's like very basic things to do, but uh, some people have asked me how to do it. So I figured I would make a quick video on it. Again, a huge shout out to all of the creators and artists who post their work on Unsplash for us to use. Be sure to check out the link in the description to download all of these wallpapers I showed today for you for free. Also go to Unsplash and find some other images that are maybe more suited to you and you can kind of create your own personalized wallpaper setup for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, say what's up in the comments. I'll see you all in the next one.